Greetings in Salutations Universe, this is Krita, and this is Legend of Dragoon. In the last episode, we left off at Kashua Glacier. Uh, we just killed the Wendigo or something of that nature. Um, I took a moment to heal up just a smidgen. I think we still need a little bit of MP, but I'm hoping that we're going to be able to find something uh, regarding... Uh-oh. Is my controller working? Rawr, rawr. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, things seem to be okay. Um, we might need to use some items to get back some MP in the event that we don't have a uh, rest location, but that's okay. Let us move along. This is where we fought Wendigo. I don't think there's an item over... Oh, there is an item. Aha! <laughs> that's why we check. Black Rain... We, we didn't have to check for that. That was unnecessary. Alright, moving along. How's everyone doing? Um, looks like uh, at the time that these come out, we only have like one or two people watching. So if you're watching this, feel special. Look! This is the Tower of Flanvel. It is the ruin where the moon mirror was placed. It's a swirl! <laughs> Again, this doesn't seem to be built by humans. No, it's not. According to legend, it was the Wingley's floating fort during the Dragon Campaign. I, I heard. Not from experience whatsoever. This can fly? Wingley's in the past used to have an enormous amount of magic power. Then it wouldn't be strange if this much magic power is concealed in the Divine Moon objects. For the people of Serdio, for the King Tsar, and for Princess Emily. No, this is a life or death matter for all of Endinus. This is even more a reason. We must stop the ambitious Lloyd. The ambitious the ambitions of Lloyd here. Ay ay ay. Reading can be hard, everyone. Especially when we get interrupted by battles. Eh, I mean, technically it didn't interrupt us very much. Hey, a mammoth! Hey, that's cool. Hey, buddy. How much health do you have? I gotta know. Can we start this off well? No, we can't. Moving along. Doing, 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 doing. At least we hit that one. That's good. Ah! This is the first battle of the day, what can I say? Tricky, tricky. That was a stun, not very nice. Well, that was closer. <laughs> uh, that's such a hard ability. It really is. Mastering everyone's final abilities. That's a, that's a hard life right there. Okay, moving along. Um, there's a chest here. Obviously, we want that. Rave Twister. I want to say that's a weapon for Albert. Is that a is that a spear? I see there. It's not. What's a Rave Twister then? Is it is it an item? Well, because we have twisted. Twister Glaive, but I don't see any Rave anything. Must be an item. Ah, there we go. Wind! So it is still wind based, that's where we got it. Alright. Up to the tower. Now let's see, what do we got here? We have a chesty chest with a spirit ring. That gives us a little bit of. Uh, Ability. I think that's the exit to our right. So this is the entrance. And now we get to teleport all over the place. So this is where we, you know, teleport over here. This guy teleports us down here. If we go over to this guy, it teleports us back. Um, so sometimes there's an obvious path, and sometimes it's not so obvious. 
That was sort of like the introduction room. Um, I'm hoping we have the ability to rest here. Mage ring. What is that? Obviously it's a, a ring. Does it give us MP? I like MP. Hey, recovers MP each turn. That's pretty nifty. So if we really wanted to, we could recover our MP for free. Uh, this looks like a healing thingamabobber. Is it not a healing thingamabobber? Is this a plant? I don't know what it is, but it's completely covered. It must be at least 11,000 years since it was dropped on the earth. But I think this is a better one, because usually the ruins of Wingleys are destroyed. Also, the magical teleporting device was working, too. <coughs> it is the place the royal family of Mil Cizau placed the moon mirror. I guess some functions are still working. Alright, but does the plant heal us? I feel the weight of its history. I want it to heal me. <laughs> is that too much to ask? Probably. Um... Well, I, I don't think we've ever really recovered any MP. Recovers MP for all. That's way too powerful. Um, I don't feel like... Let's see, we're about to fight Lloyd. Uh, I want to say we're going to fight Lloyd, right? Um, it feels like it might be moving towards that. And he has the Dragon Buster. So, in that case, maybe we don't necessarily want to use Dragoons? I feel like that might be the case. Oh! The moon mirror is in there! I don't want to go there yet. I want to explore those teleporters. Ah. The dragoon spirit of the divine dragon is resonating. Lloyd! Finally, we cornered him. Well, thankfully, this is a RPG where he's going to stay right there as we explore other rooms real quick. I want to make sure we're not missing any cool items. We came from, the, from that middle one. Oh. Okie dokie, then. That, that's really it. Never mind. Didn't miss a thing. It was a dead end. Alright. It's important to always save because the... Japanese RPGs will let you know that a boss fight is coming. Gotta love it. Saving on up. Dart and his ladies. Alright, let's go to the... Go on up here, and let's say hi to Lloyd. I appreciate your cooperation. What? What are you? Lloyd! Here they are. I just got all three divine moon objects. Now the world will re be reborn into the utopia that Emperor Diaz and I desire. The world will be reborn. What are you talking about? You should know, your majesty. The evolutionary plan created by the great will, Soa, and the flow of evolution woven by the divine tree. You humans are merely the 106th plant in the plan, and we winglies are the 107th in the plan. I desire the 108th evolution. I desire a utopia created by the last species. For that, I will use every conceivable means. Lloyd, that's all you have you want to say? That doesn't even make sense. I'll let my sword say the rest. Shall we finish up? So keep in mind the last time we fought him, we couldn't even nick him. He was way too fast. And now he has, like, special armor on, and he's flying. This is going to be an interesting fight. And he's starting off <laughs> with what I believe is a pretty heavy-hitting attack. Is it physical or magic? That's the question. 
looks magic. Ow. Alright, so it looked like it was a magical ability. So Dart should take pretty much nothing, and the girls, by the looks of it, took a massive hit. Um, now I'm not sure if we want to attack or not. Maru seems okay. Rose, you're in a bit of a pickle, but uh, we're, we might be able to swing in here. Um, I'm going to go on the assumption that using our Dragoons would be a very bad idea. Uh, I don't want to have anyone turn out like Lavitz did. Um, that would be bad. Now, uh, the other thing to ponder is whether or not he is counter-attacking. If he is, then we might not want to miss our additions. Not that I ever want to miss an addition, but uh, it's important nonetheless. He's definitely attacking a lot, and all of his attacks are attacking the whole party, so that's not very good. Magic attack focused on Maru, dealing a miss. That is very good. Dart, you seem totally okay. You can definitely swing in. Nice. Um, I feel like Rose should guard. <laughs> Just in case. Hey! And I'm immediately rewarded for it. Very good. It's quite hard to see the attack squares in this fight. Gotta love the magic. Totally not fair. At least it's uh, just a normal magic ability. It's not so bad. It does seem he's going one time for every time of one of our characters. Seems to be quite consistent. So far he's a lot harder than uh, the Divine Dragon. That guy was kind of a pushover. That attack does so much damage, but it is uh, it is on the weaker side. This is about the only thing that should hurt Dart. 570, yep. Maru can guard for a little while. She's not doing too well. This is a battle of attrition. There we go. How much damage? Ooh, yeah. That's good damage. Maru, you're hurting. Keep guarding. And we got to, I think we got to do something with everyone uh, for a change. That was very nice. Maru kind of needs to be healing a little bit more than that. It's possible we might want to use a speed up on Maru, give her a, a chance to heal, but things seem to be okay for a moment. Might be half health. If so, that is good news for us. 
missing our additions is bad news. But maybe we can hit with Rose? <laughs> no. No, no, we can't. Maru, you're uh, feeling awfully useless over there. Can you do something? <sighs> Might be time for Dart to do a little healing. Maybe even a healing breeze with Rose? Nah, just keep going. That was worth it. That was very much worth. Yep, attack Rose. She's the one who can at least heal on her own, thanks to the amazing therapy ring. Best item in the game. Um, Dart, I think we are going to Healing Breeze. Just get us kind of set up for the second half of this fight, so to speak. If I remember correctly, Lloyd will end up healing. Wow, that's... that's fair. Doink. 570. Very consistent, at least. How much is this? 336 or something? 315. Okay. Oh, he's in the red. I want to say Lloyd heals, though. So I feel like the next thing he does is a heal. We'll see. That's not a heal. And that's a magic attack against one person. That's only hitting dart. So that's awesome. Keeping in mind that he is the one with a... Uh, the super awesome helmet. The legend cask. He's not healing. Is he just going to go down? He did the little twitch there. Well, it's not the twitch. I feel like if anyone can hit him... Rose is the one, but what can you do? It'd be so funny if Maru got the last hit, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Aw, oh, shoulda guarded. Getting into the rhythm with Demon's Dance, so that's good. Did he do the twitch? Uh, no. This is the big mama attack. He started off the fight with this, so maybe he's ending the fight with that. That could be. He's definitely trying to send a message at the very end of the fight. Alright, who... That's a close call. Do we actually use a healing rain, or... Uh, let's go with speed up. Dart is still doing okay, but Rose needs some help. And one turn of healing for her is quite a bit, thanks to her therapy ring. Um... Just be on the safe side. Hmm. 
Did he do the twitch? He did do the twitch. Haha. <laughs> And he didn't heal either, but then he seems to have avoided our strike. So that's interesting. No, Wink, what are you doing? You should not be here. Please... Forgive Lloyd. <laughs> no way. Nuh-uh. No, he killed Lavitz. No way am I forgiving that jerk. Nuh-uh. Not happening. No way. Not in a million years. Never happening. No. He killed He killed Lavitz, alright? That's not happening. I refuse. I reject that. Nope. That request can go bugger itself. Albert, don't you need to be upstairs? Lloyd killed Lavitz. That's right, he did. He killed Lavitz. And, uh, no. I trust Dart with everything. He will bring us the right answer. I agree. I feel the same way. Ditto. Kongel just shakes his head. Can't even decide on that. Why? Why did you shield me? I took many people's lives away from, from my own ideal and the divine moon objects. I used you. Even if that is the truth. The fact that you saved me is still true. Besides, your death won't solve anything. Shauna was taken away. What? What did you say? By the man named Emperor Diaz. He told us to bring the three divine moon objects and Lloyd and come to Velweb. Hmm. Emperor Diaz, finally he has begun to take action by himself. Now, take them to him. Even without me, my utopia will be built by Emperor Diaz. I completed all my tasks. Now, I have to settle for what I have done so far. Settle up for what I've done so far. I mean, I agree. I'm not forgiving you, but I don't think we necessarily need to kill you. There's... Yeah. Kill me and go to Velweb. I dedicate my death to your departure. Yeah, just pu punch him hard. Maybe take a leg. Is it out of pity? Your death... won't bring... Lavitz back. Alright, I, I don't know who else died, alright? Lavitz is the one who matters. Leave it at that. Lloyd, I'm gonna make you see through. See it through to the end. Dude, you left your sword. Your sword is still there. Passion. Is this the power that drives them?
Shauna was... I see. When we go there, we can reveal the truth about it, the Emperor Diaz. Whoever he is, he's is dangerous. Besides, it is unforgivable to take our dear Shauna as a hostage for his utopia or whatever. Exactly. I'll beat him up whoever he is. That's right, Maru. You will. Queen Teresa, we are heading to Velweb, and we need the moon. I understand. I will let you have the moon mirror. Maybe we were in denial, surrounding ourselves with a comfortable life that really was stagnant. Yes, we humans are not the only species, and all species were given life by Soa's plan. Now is the time to remember the assault of the divine dragon and the existence of Winglies, the divine moon objects, and the utopia that Lloyd and Emperor Diaz desire. And you, Dragoons. Everything is forcing us to remember it as if things were manipulated by some great will called fate. Even if so, I don't care. I will take Shauna back, even from fate. Miranda, you are one of the Dragoons. Go with Dart, discover the meaning of the fate given by Soa. I hope that uh, Dart got his sword back. It's kind of important. Can I ask you one question? Yes. Why did you save Wink twice? I had no reason for doing that. I see. Acquired the Moon Mirror. Acquired the Moon Dagger. Acquired the Moon Gem. I wonder if we can just shove that back into Albert. That'd be really weird. Alright. That has been the fight with Lloyd. This has been Krita playing Legend of Dragoon. I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye bye